Ladies and gentlemen traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. As you guys are tuning in, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're a new viewer, consider subscribing as you watch throughout the video. Before we talk about the risk, quick plug right now. Quick plug, guys, today's episode is brought to you by my very own Discord trading chat room community. If you guys are not a part of the Discord, what are you doing? This is where it goes down. Before the live stream, during the live stream, after the live stream, this is where we are every day hanging out, chopping it up, you know, and interacting, posting, engaging, building, learning, growing together. And now we have over 4,400 members. Be sure to check out the chat and join today. All right. Links are down below. Links are down below. Check out the chat room, guys. All right. So with that being said, remember the risks of trading. Remember that trading like any other business here in the United States does come with its set, its, its own set of risk. All right. First, remember trading is risky. Remember that, you know, it's a matter of taking it slow. It's not get rich quick. It takes time, months, more commonly years to get efficient, to get consistent, to get disciplined. So if you're not where you need to be, Regardless of if you're, if you're new or if you've been around, guys, take it slow. Utilize, you know, utilize paper trading, utilize simulators, utilize risk money. Reduce your exposure to the markets, all right? Because your tuition will be on the higher side if you don't. It's best to go through the learning curve and reduce your risk. With that being said, remember that the recap the live streams, they're not an invitation to copy trade. There's a formal way of learning, which we'll talk about more later in the video. Besides that, remember, I do not invest money for my subscribers, so be careful of any fake accounts and impersonators out there pretending to be me talking about mirror trading and copy trading. I do not invest for my subscribers. I'll never ask for money or personal information. Now, with that being said, let's talk about stock SASI. We're also going to look at a little bit of archive today, you know, aka the live recording of my trading, including all the indicators that I use. Relentless, how were you able to make $830 today in just one hour? How were you able to get it done? You know, and how did it go with you sizing up today? Try, or at least let's say attempting to size up with this crazy volatility. Guys, SASI, huge range on this stock. We ended up not pushing full size, not even close to it because this thing was so wild and all over the place. You know, we started off here with a low of 610 and a high of 674. It goes up to 690, slams down to 583, rips back up to 613, slams down here to lows of 580 again, and rips all the way up to 675. From 675, we get up to 734, and kid you guys not, one minute later, we're back down at 568. Four minutes later, we're back up at 725. And then it goes up some more and it slams down to 656. How do you trade this madness? Relentless, how were you able to get in and out of this thing with some green? Well, it came down to a couple of things. Well, you know, one, the breakouts here did work in some areas, but other areas were absolutely terrible. And so for me, what I tried to focus on a little bit as I was going on this particular stock was buying the lower, lower in some key areas and trying to sell on the pops. You know, some quick dip trades here and there, the breakout trades again, you know, if you were in on the right places, you could have did well, but just so tricky, man. So, you know, buying lower, right? What, 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 does, what does this really mean? This is one of the entries that I did miss, but this one here looking back, you know, seems pretty obvious, but you know, we have a low of 83, we push up, we come back down to this level and this particular area holding up and curling up and leading to new highs you know even down here again this is the third time which i don't usually like the third time but it does hold and if you're watching these bear flag levels closely you can essentially get a breakout trade down here which is the one minute candle making the new high right so whether you're in low or you're watching the highest level over 611 we get up there 625 we get through vwap from 25 to 44 from 44 all the way to 725 and so that's how we're capitalizing on these opportunities. For me, I wasn't super aggressive watching it low in every area. Well, you know, once we were getting the range, getting in and out, trading the levels. I do want to show you guys this red candle here at 42. 
so you guys can see how violent and aggressive this thing was man so we're gonna skip ahead here to 42 guys hit that thumbs up if you're watching on right now hit that thumbs up be sure to support the channel so i got myself up to 700 dollars very quickly like you know in the first couple of minutes i'm watching this thing and i'm able to get green uh let's come across here a little bit so this particular pullback i missed right so i mentioned i didn't take it i don't think i did let's see you can watch this area here oh why is it freezing come on well let's restart this not good technical difficulties my computer needs more ram we can't open unsupported encoding setting what the heck is going on with this thing okay maybe today might not be the day for archives one more try Third time's a charm. Yeah, I don't know why it's having a hard time. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Anyhow, well, so much for that. But yeah, you know, we had... A, very disappointing there we had a, a huge drop here after the break of seven tons of sellers at seven right tons of sellers because we had a high of seven already so coming across over here tons of sellers and the moment it got through it rips 35 right and then we get to a high yeah 35 and then from there instant flush out man like all the bids got pulled and this thing was nose diving man going down faster than the titanic and i ended up buying a dip down here but i got filled a little high i bought 7 11 6 11 but i got filled 623 i sold at 33 34 small size only uh 80 800 shares so 80 bucks winner 10 cents but should have been in with a little bit more size uh but from there it pulled back again before it bounced and that was what really threw me off and why i didn't get back in again so I expected us to be able to continue from 30 to 45.50. Instead, it made a new low at 81 and then bounced up aggressively again. So I ended up missing that area there. Uh, but again, you know, we, we made the new high over here. I missed this. I missed this breakout by a few seconds. You, you know, I, I looked away at something else. I noticed it when this candle was now opening up and I'm kind of scrambling to get back and, you know, a little slow. To really get in stride and hit the buy button over 644 this candle flew flew up like nobody's business man and you know if you're quick you got rewarded right there you know again just going up so aggressively but after some attempts at the new highs right here i, I felt good about this stock continuing and, and and going more and more to eight nine but we got rejected not once but twice and then three times and then fortunately just a big red candle man but again being resilient so people watching these low levels you know were really rewarded today despite being below vwap despite being a little weaker we essentially had a bit of a double bottom here 615 615 the one minute candle makes the new high over 38 we get to 50 you know and from there we break over that level at the half dollar area to 690 which leads into a three bar play and then it rips up to 45. I can't remember if I got trades in this area. I don't think I did. If I did, I fumbled. Yeah, I missed this area here. Yeah, I ended up missing that nice move back up, man. So, you know, for me on this one, I think I could have done a better job watching a little lower uh, in these areas to position myself properly to dominate the move going up. Because once you come late and the candle's flying, there's not much you can do areas like this very violent very tricky you know again very violent very tricky again very violent you know it just not an easy stock by any means man so if you did end up red you know all it really means is that you got caught on some of the other side the other area because we know there's risk there's reward and if we get caught in the wrong areas you know these big red candles are waiting for us
so it happens you know we just got to bounce back stay focused not get you know off track off centered and keep paying attention i'm going to try one last time for this archive man i don't know what's going on and why we're having so much issues yeah anyhow yeah so that's gonna do it um tried tried to show some archive there but not quite getting through so i think that'll do it that's the main stock we traded today we did have a small loss on something else um let's see 70 bucks on tpst and 28 on mnts but yeah besides that i did miss i missed one of the afternoon stocks um in t ngx no no no, not this one one of the other ones i missed and yeah you know that ended up doing it for the day but you know we're gonna shut it down we're gonna enjoy the weekend you know as always guys don't obsess over trading it's a matter of just you know detaching enjoying the, the things on the outside and then coming back prepared for monday morning so enjoy the weekend have fun study up whenever you can let's come back fresh let's come back ready monday we dominate all right stay safe stay green it's been your favorite youtuber once again take a look at the links down below for discord for the course for everything else that we offer here in the community to help out all the relentless traders out there in the world catch you guys later stay safe stay green